Let me know yeah, when you're ready to go. We're live and um, do your countdown off you go. Three, two, one. Welcome back to the episode number 350 of the Mail Right Real Estate Marketing Podcast. Today we are overjoyed and incredibly lucky to have Darren Dawson. Uh, Darren Dawson is the co founder of Bomb Bomb, it is a video. Um, emailing platform. I personally love the the platform, Darren. I've used it many times, so which I haven't had a chance to tell you. But anyway, before I get too far down the rabbit hole of fanboy here, why don't you go ahead and tell everybody who who you are? Yeah, I'm uh, Darren Dawson, as you said, and yeah, I started Bomb Bomb with my best buddy Connor McCluskey back in 2006. I quit my day job in 2011, and yeah, we've been doing this for a long time now. So. I live in Colorado Springs. We're, a bit, we're based in Colorado Springs. I live north of there a bit, but I love Colorado. I've been here 27 years and love real estate, all things to do with it. It's been very uh, been very blessed by that industry. So we, we, um, we, we've enjoyed it for a very long time. So happy to be here. Beautiful. All right. Uh, John, for those people that may be new to the podcast, which I'm sure we'll get a few on this episode, why don't you go ahead and, and introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. I'm the co-founder of Mel Hyphen Right. We build beautiful real estate websites on WordPress, and we provide a suite of marketing tools that help you get digital leads from your lovely-looking website. Back over to you, Rob. Awesome, Darren. I don't even know that you know this, but um, for those that may not know me already, I am uh, probably one of the longest-standing real estate SEO guys that's still left in the industry that you can actually speak to. I founded a, an inbound marketing company. To the best of my knowledge, it's the only real estate marketing company that focuses on inbound. Uh, and if anybody wants to check it out, you can go to inboundrem.com and you can uh, take a look at uh, a content strategy aimed at you. Uh, the website's supposed to be very helpful. So without any further ado, uh, Darren, I've read lots about you online. I've read uh, your coming of age story and you were kind enough to share so much of your personal background on so many different podcasts that you've been on. And I did a little bit of digging before we started this interview. I wanted to do can I, something. Can, can I say, Rob, that I'm stunned by this news? <laughs> I wanted to do something different on, on this show, or at least to, to the best of our ability. Um, I am a big fan of Bomb Bomb, and but I would love to hear an updated, some updated. So actually, maybe five minutes on how, why you founded Bomb Bomb and what you, where you think you are positioned in the real estate marketing industry as it relates to other products and service lists. Why don't we, why don't we start there? So why I founded Bomba? Yeah. With your, with your co-founder. Yeah, Connor. Connor and I, so yeah, it's a great story. I think this is maybe what you're pointing at, but the reason we founded Bomb Bomb is because um, we were, we were entrepreneurial. I mean, we had started marketing companies on a painting company, a lot of different stuff when we were in our twenties, but, we were doing online marketing early, like in the late nineties, early two thousands. But, um, and then I was involved in a marketing company in, but, but Connor had gone to Africa and met a gentleman and he came back and hung out with us and he was trying to start this orphanage over there. And mm -hmm. like he was feeding kids and, uh, doing a bunch of cool stuff over there. And basically Connor was like, man, I, I really want to go live in Africa. Um, and we were, we were working on the bomb bomb idea and, and we were kind of like, yeah, if we can get this video email thing going, then, you know, we can make like $5,000 a month. You could go live in Africa and I could do this. That was why we started. Bomb bomb. <laughs> so <laughs> it was like, to, it was really to like fund Connor living in Africa now. So we started bomb bomb. And it quickly became like, oh, this is going to be way bigger than that. And um, you could go live in Africa, but we can probably really help a lot more people if we stick with this. And that's our, our whole idea is that we want to help people that can't help themselves. If you've known anything about me, then, you know, I'm on a mission to rehumanize your business. But it's because I'm on a mission to rehumanize the planet. And what we think about that is that there are marginalized people in this in this world that are dehumanized that 
sex trafficking. Uh, they don't have running water. They don't know what they're going to eat every day. And so what we're doing behind the scenes in Bomb Bomb, and not, not a lot of people know this, but we're, we're, we've now established quite a great community in Africa, what we're doing there. Um, we've built some entrepreneurial things. We're, we're raising chickens and selling eggs and we got greenhouses. We got farmland. We got tractors. We got a, a woodworking shop. And this wasn't all us, by the way. But we st- Richard's our buddy in Africa that we met 15 years ago. And he came over here with just the, the clothes on his back. And he's still a really great friend and integral part of who Bomb Bomb is. And then as a as an organization, we've adopted another community that he he helped us with outside of Ni- of Nairobi and Katali, Kenya. It's called Mount Elgon. We're we're literally the, there's some kids there that have chosen to adopt us, us American bomb bombers, and we help them make sure they got food to eat, medical um, care, and also um, education. You know, they they were spending all their time gathering firewood to sell for a dollar. And then they could live. We thought that sucks. So let's not do that anymore. Let's once you go to school, once you get health care, why don't you eat so you can revitalize your entire community? And it's starting to happen in in, in Katali. It's it's crazy. So it's been fun. So yeah, Connor and I were the first people to adopt those some of those kids. And then Bomb Bomb's been kind of helping out with that ever since. So that's the first part of the question. Mm-hmm. Any follow-up questions to that? It's usually it's, we were like, "What?" <laughs> well, no, actually, I did. Well, only I one, did. only one thing, Darren. There's quite a few people that would like to send me to Africa. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I actually knew all of that, but I'm glad that you got a chance to tell yeah. our specific audience what the mission is. And yeah. uh, interestingly enough, it it also probably, as a mission-driven leader myself. I, I kind of like, I understand why you have a 95% approval rating on Glassdoor. I mean, I did, I did a little bit of digging. And so it's, it's. Yeah. Well, sometimes we get accused of being cult like, but listen, if you don't like helping widows and orphans and people who can't eat, then you, maybe you shouldn't work here. That's, all <laughs> like, like, that's okay with me. If it's okay. Like, awful that's what awful we're stuff. About. Terrible stuff. Yeah. Horrible. So that's what we're about. You know, we support like locally, uh, a great, I'll give a, a shout out to Mary's Home and Dream Centers here in Colorado Springs. It's a local organization and it's free health care for women. And um, that's the, that's the, um, there's this like medical clinic as a part of Dream Centers. It's free health care for women. And the other one is Mary's Home where they take uh, families who are homeless. A big part of the homeless problem in many cities is families that are homeless. So women fleeing abusive situations with their kids, they're living in their car. Mary's Home puts them into safe housing. So those are great local contributors of ours, you know, and then we support the local homeless shelter. It's called Springs Rescue Mission. So, you know, a lot of people complain about homelessness. I'm like, if we're going to be a company in this city, we're going to help the city. We're going to be a part of it. We're not just going to complain about these things. So we do Africa internationally and we do locally Mary's Home and Springs Rescue mm-hmm. Mission. So, And you won lots and lots of awards for being a mission-driven workplace. It's on one of the documents that you linked to me and um, uh, I am, I'm sold, but uh, I would like to um, talk to you a bit about bomb bomb itself. Yeah. Um, so uh, we've, we've had some, another member of your organization on Stephen P- Passanelli oh, sure. many, a long time ago, like a couple years ago. And he gave us a great use case inside of a very specific circumstance, something that he had, uh, he had uh, he'd heard a story from Jimmy Burgess, who had used yeah. Bomb Bomb to send out uh, email like um, he used a, quite a few, like a layered technology approach. He recorded his screen. He talked to individuals. He sent out one email at a time, recording. Yeah, kind of like uh, wasn't he doing like a price? What they call it, like CMA type type of CMA. Correct. And he, would, he would he was famous. He would zoom out. From like a Google Earth position, that was his GIF. Really cool technique he used. Still does. Yeah, yeah. and and he he's obviously needless to say we all, we all would not be talking about it, but but he has made a significant amount of GCI off this one strategy, which yeah. happens to leverage your platform. Like it's something that that he's doing in tandem with Bomb Bomb. So that's an interesting use case. But why don't 
why don't you explain to us how, or, or, or the question that I'd like to ask is, how do you connect um, your mission of humanizing people or maybe marketing into the actual functionality of bomb bomb can you explain your thoughts yeah. behind that? yeah for me it's it's kind of easy because it's again the mission of bomb bomb is to rehumanize the planet okay mm -hmm. and we always say and that starts with your business and so i think i am kind of old school in my thinking maybe but i think that people still work with people they know like and trust and in a real estate business, it's about referrals. It's about repeat business. It's about getting people to know, like, and trust you very quickly to build that relationship. And I don't think that kind of the technology of today helps very much with that. Most of today's technology is designed to never meet you almost, right? It's like automated, it's AI, it's email, it's text. But what I've always wanted to do is help our customers build better relationships by being human, by being uniquely human. I believe that humans have intrinsic value, that they are valuable people. No matter who you are, humans are different. And so that's that's the whole missional piece, that rehumanized piece. And so I'm going to help you be more uh, transparent, be more authentically you. So when you meet this potential new person from that inbound campaign, you can introduce yourself. You can say hi and you can it can, they can make you feel like they, they've gotten to know you a little bit. Okay. So I kind of give this analogy of if, if you had two landscapers coming to your, to your house and they sold the exact same thing, really their proposals were amazingly the same, that it costs the same amount of money. They had the same reputation and people gave them glowing references. How do you decide which one you're going to use? Typically, it's going to be the one I just kind of like them more. That's it. <laughs> and, and, and so I need to help my customers, real estate agents, loan officers, insurance people, financial services, lots of different industries, be no like and trust quickly. And, and I think that if you do this and you adopt this, you're going to win more than your fair share of opportunities and you're going to have a sustaining business. And then you're going to build better relationships with those people on, 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 the, on the front end and get repeat and referral business on the back end. It's a relationship business, it just is. You want, if I like you, I'm gonna tell my friend Jane about you and then she's gonna use you too. So how do you facilitate that on a regular basis? That's Bomb Bomb's mission for the customer is to help you build deeper, better, richer relationships so that they use you again and again and again. Right. That's how I see myself fitting in. So, you know, we ride almost every CRM platform in real estate. I can't think of one that we don't. Right. Um, you know, we're integrated into all those spaces. And so um, and, and very much like we service. Four major industries right now, it's real estate, uh, financial services, so like mortgage, uh, but more like, you know, uh, um, like Fidelity is a customer, for instance. So like Fidelity you know, National Mortgage, planner, right. Or you are in insurance. So Farmers is a big customer of ours. So, you know, those people all kind of have the same problem. They are involved in a complex transaction, right? Where mm -hmm. no like and trust is really important. Um, they rely on repeat and referral business and a human being is necessary in the transaction. There's a lot of hubbub about that not being so in the, in the future. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> in how long are we talking? Because as long as I'm alive, I don't, I'm not just gonna do that online. None of those things. If, if I need a consultant to help me walk through these, con like I'm running a business, right? I'm a smart guy at certain things. You're probably very smart at SEO, right? You know more than I do about it. But when it comes to buying a house, how I'm going to invest my money, how I'm going to put my kids through college, I need people to help me through that. And so there's a relationship that is needed and that trust is needed in that relationship. If I don't trust you, you're not getting my cash to invest. I'm not going to listen to you about how much insurance I need in my car. I'm not going to know the right, the right kind of, a mortgage structure to work through this deal. I rely on professionals to do all those things. And so I think that bomb bomb helps video helps build the, the trust, the know I can trust in the repeat and referral business. Well, that's great. I think we need to go for a break, Rob. Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, we've been interviewing uh, Darren Dawson, who is one of the co-founders and the president of BombBomb. For those that don't know, BombBomb is a uh, video email platform 
Uh, Darren mentioned that it's connected to most major platforms. Darren, part of what I do is I actually review most of those major platforms by getting a user license and diving in deep. And I can confirm that pretty much everybody from Boom, Boomtown to Bold Leads has you integrated into their platform. KV Core, the list goes on. That just means you can click a button and get set up with these guys. So thank you everybody for listening to the show. We hope that you'll like or thumbs up wherever you've seen us. Do us a favor, please come back after the break and hear uh, the last part of our interview with Darren Dawson. We'll be right back. Three, two, one. Welcome back to the Mail Right Real Estate Marketing Podcast. Today's episode number is 350. We're here with Darren Dawson, the founder and president, uh, uh, co-founder, sorry, and president of Bomb Bomb. Uh, we've been talking to him about where he sees, how he sees. I asked him to relate his mission to the market, and he did a great job. That was how we we came to break. John, before I just keep just going on like a freight train, why don't you yeah. why don't you get in a couple of questions? Yeah, sure. One of the questions I was gonna I wanted to ask you is. We're in a crowded market. There's a lot of real estate agents. And if you're going to be successful in the industry, you've got to somehow position yourself as being different, um, differentialize yourself. Bomb Bomb is an excellent tool for that. But the, the video in general, there seems to be a lot of online social media, video, your product. There seems a, a lot of possibilities, but there seems to be a, a lot lack of imagination or willingness to use them to some extent um, in the industry. Have you got any insights? If you, First of all, do you agree with that statement? And if you do, have you got any insights What's what that is about? Yeah, I, yeah, I do have a lot. I have a lot to say about this. We've written two books, two books on this topic. <laughs> one, was called, one was called "Rehumanize Your Business." The other one was called uh, "Human Centered Communication: The Case Against Digital Pollution." I'm gonna, and I'm going to I'm going to answer your question by talking about that second half. And then, you know, at, at Bomb Bomb, we allow you to send a video message anywhere you send a text message. So if you're on social and all these things, um, your your phone. A text i can do a video i can do it in gmail outlook wherever wherever you're saying text you can send video and that's great however we have a problem right now and it was it was it was um blown up so to speak by the pandemic and that is what we call digital pollution just an onslaught of stuff coming at you all the time and so you're right that video can help you to break through that noise and differentiate yourself between you and what feels to many consumers is everybody's kind of the same. What's really the difference, right? And so I, I kind of, that's what I was talking about before. I think one of your differences is that you're uniquely you and that people you build relationships with are going to want to refer you. I can't say enough about, I think that you, your business should be based lion's share on referrals and you should be working new opportunities to just fill your pipeline of referrals for the future. Okay. So, I mean, you're fighting against this, uh, um, digital pollution that social media is really and everyone's on social and they're kind of with the same message. Um, also, and I'm going to, and now I'm going to jump into the other reason though, cause you're kind of like, why don't they do it? Or why don't they use it? Social media also has given us this impression that we don't look the way we should, that we need filters, right? That we need to like make ourselves look produced or look better. We need a fancy background to the other, to communicate to someone. I think that's completely wrong. I do. I think that, that at the end of the day, the way I'm, reason I'm going to choose you and, and for me, my real estate agent is the Bear and Bear team, Ed and Renee Bear, friends of mine. I feel like I've known them forever. I haven't, but I feel like I do, who call me up, send me videos, connect with me, invite me to things. They, they drop stuff off in my house. Like they're doing all the stuff that we just need to do as human beings to build relationships. And Renee does a ton of stuff on social, but she's not doctoring herself. We're not using filters there. Okay. So we, we can go down a lot of rabbit trails, but I want to get back to this one, which is ultimately you don't like how you look on camera. And, you, and then, and then secondly, you don't know what to say. I think is the reason why people don't use video a lot. So let's talk about how I look when, when I'm talking to you right now, the way I sound in my head is not how you hear me. 
And so when I do make a video for the first time, maybe, and I play that video back, I'm like, oh, I don't sound like that. But I do. I do sound like <laughs> that. But I don't hear myself that way. And so your your little your brain goes, ah, I don't like it. So you got to overcome that a little bit. It's tough. It's not easy. I'm not saying it is. But you need to understand that that psychology exists there, that your brain's telling you to not like it because it doesn't sound right to you because you when you hear yourself back. Same thing when you see your face. Now, this is getting better because of Zoom and things we're doing even now. We see ourselves more often than we used to when we first started BombBomb. Bomb. But still, we don't like it. We don't like seeing our face. There's, it's visceral to a lot of people. Like, I don't look like that. I still think I look like I'm 21 years old, but I'm 48, right? As my wife always points out, you, you live your life like you're at 22 sometimes, but you're 48, right? <laughs> um, so there's this psychological thing going on, okay? And then I don't know what to say. People get stuck. It's like when that red light turns on, I don't know what to say anymore. So we need help. And Bomb Bomb helps you with that. So our two big core competencies at Bomb Bomb are speed the video, make it super easy to put video wherever you're sending text, and also guidance to success. We have big shirts that say, be the guide. Steve Pastanelli is wearing one today. It says, <laughs> be the guide. And we want our people at Bomb Bomb to guide you into understanding these things I've just been sharing with you now. That one, I get that you don't like how you look, but here it's okay. And this is what you should say in these moments. So if it's a new lead, here's what you say. If it's an old customer and you're just checking in, this is what you say. So we help you to know kind of these scripts or at least bullet points of what to say. When you come into Bomb, Bomb we help you make videos for the first time. If you didn't know what to do, we, we walk you through the process. If you're in real estate, we know exactly what you need to say. We've been doing this for 12 years in real estate, work with every major. We have, I think we have realtors in 48 countries, you know, talking like 60,000 real estate agents using it. So we know what you should say from the top of the top. All those companies you're talking about are my friends. Like I can text them. They're my buddies. I know all the, the, the those great teams, all the influencers. No, I'm not an Inman right now. Just don't want to be in Las Vegas in the middle of the summer. Sorry. Move it back to San Francisco. I'll be there forever. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> I um yeah, I've never I've never been one of those guys that's jumped on the Inman Connect bandwagon, but uh but I probably should, which is the interesting thing. I just um I built out my relationships one at a time, like this, yeah. run into each person by doing something specific, outreach, reaching out to them and saying that I wanted to do like a write up or review, then they would go to my blog and read it and go, oh shit, this, why haven't I heard of this guy? And then you then say yes. And then I would meet them saying, that's how I met Christine and Danny who founded Bold Leads. It's just been one at a time over 14 years. You've been doing it, you know, bomb bomb for 12. I've been doing this since 2007 or 2008. I uh, started off working uh, with John Crabb over at uh, Agent Image. So it's been a long, slow, uphill climb. Um, you've done an incredible job rehumanizing. I think most of our clients would understand what your mission is. And I think a lot of them have picked up what the product is currently doing. I have a question for you in the sense that, so two questions actually, and maybe we can spread them out into two parts. One, I'm not, I, we are entering an unusual time in the real estate market. At least that's how most of our, the, our mutual customers are going to feel like most of the people that we know, there's, there's a lot of market, you know, tumultuation. I was here for the last market crash. I don't think we're going into one right now, but we're certainly going into maybe a cooling down of the existing market sure. is my belief. And as that happens, it's going to roll out and affect most real estate marketing companies. There's very few that would be non-impacted by that in some way or another. So my first question would be, what are your plans for Bomb Bomb? In, in the sense of, do you have any plans for a market that's changing? Are you going to, like, like, is there, do, yeah, I guess that's the question. Yeah, so we do better <laughs> in a downturn. Like, because I've been through this a few times. 2019 wasn't a great market, if you remember, either. I mean, and so we we did start this company in 2006, right? I didn't quit my job until 2011, but we, we were here. I mean, um, I got, again, I can say a lot here. Look, more than ever now, we see people turning on bomb bomb. We see people reactivating their account. And it's because, look, for the last two years, they were slammed, busy. You're busy. 
if you weren't busy, you got, you know, that you're busy last few years. Now you have to get back to building relationships with the past client. You can no longer just forget to check in with them and how they're doing and look for referrals and work your sphere. You're going to have to look for your mortgage partner. How are you working with them? How can you work with other professionals in your area? How are you going to farm again? Like some of these things we get lax about them. I bet a lot of people may be listening to this. You're new to the business in the last two years. Well, so I've seen this happen. So you have to got to get back to what gets fundamentally come like the fundamentals of real estate business, which is repeat and referral business, relationship building, uh, connecting with people, getting out there. It's the hustle. The leads aren't going to come flying in right now. You got to go work for them and compete for them. And you do got to show why you're different than your competition. And that's not always going to come from your brand, right? Don't expect your brand to be able to do that. You got to own that for yourself. It is your business if you're in real estate. So that's my experience too, just to, which with all the people that you know, I would think that you probably have intuited this, but you're, you, you are in a, a rare moment right now because I don't know that you would speak to all that many other inbound marketers inside the real estate space because there's not that many of us people yeah. who establish value through content as opposed to a quicker to market approach like direct marketing bomb, you know, like uh, bold leads and, and boomtown yeah. and all those platforms are drive traffic as fast as possible into the platform and let's see the platform do its thing and get the result in good markets. That's a stellar like plan. But when your direct advertising budget stops yielding results, that particular well gets painful very, very quickly. That's when I have found that people actually, I do good, very much like you, I do good in down markets, SEO. I, I, to stuff. me, what you're talking about there, I agree. It's like, um, I'm going to use a football analogy. Okay, mm -hmm. look, it, you have got to have an inbound game because it, it's like you got to have a, a you got to have a rushing game if you want a passing game in football. You can't have both. American football, Jonathan, American football, right? You got to have a, a running game. <laughs> To I'll, for, I'll forgive you, Darren. <laughs> <laughs> you got you can't you gotta have both. You, and to me, the no one wants to do the long play, but mm -hmm. the long play is the only way you're gonna be in the business a long time. I'm sorry. Like the, it, it work is required. It is. Yeah, and but so, Darren, I, I don't want to obviously we don't want to waste your time talking about the market, but let's take Northern Nevada over the past over two years, prices have appreciated by over 40%. I think over two-year period, prices appreciated by 20% each year. What what do you really think is going to happen? You know, anybody that does any research on markets with a market that appreciates more than two years at 20%, you're, historically, it's going to readjust to the mean average. You're going to have a um, correction. I don't disagree. And I think yeah. that some, I honestly think that some places are going to be market insulated. And you, you're going to need to know that for yourself. Look, I live in a place where there are no more houses to build. It is up against the mountain. There are no more water taps. So that's different than maybe where you are in Nevada, right? So as a, as a professional, it's your job to help everyone understand those different market conditions where you live. So, yeah, I couldn't agree there's going to be a correction. Yeah, well, I think the point I was trying to make is if there is a readjustment, it could be, in percentage terms, quite significant. But if you take into account the what we've seen over the past two years, it's still... It's just going back to a normal, a normal kind of market. If you understand, it well, the same keep... amount of houses have been sold. We're on pace to sell the same as we sold the last two years. That really hasn't changed a lot. The inventory needs to increase. We still don't have a lot of houses to buy either. Yeah, I, I can see a normalization. I think I don't want to go on. I think it depends on where you're at too, in a big way. But I here's, here's what I know. The, the folks that I work with that have that did the last downturn aren't worried about this at all. Yeah. That's, they're not, that's, that's well, well, they're, using, like, they're using bonbon, don't they? Well, they're they're doing what they've done the entire time to make sure they're successful, a combination of things. 
Right. Someone's Usually a combination of strategies of which at least one is a value based like messaging and how you deliver the message kinesthetically video is just far more powerful. So I'm just going to anybody that might be new, I, I am kind of running under the principle that for the most part, Darren, you didn't really need an introduction. But for every once in a while, we get we get this idea that people don't really understand. Well, hey, video is the way that we're passing along our messages in the in the world that we're living in right now. The ones that are impactful, the ones that really resonate. Yeah, I would say just say the difference is if you want to build long lasting relationships so you can survive a downturn. I mean, you want to make sure that you're building connection. And I just believe and many do that video helps you build a stronger connection for repeat and referral business and to convert new business in, in real time. So that's, I think that's what I've seen. Like you just, it's the long game that that successful real estate agents play. It's not the short game. You play the long game. It's, it is SEO. It is inbound. It is, it is, you know, lead acquisition of these different ways, but you've got to kind of have a combination and know where to lean into certain strategies, depending on what the market's doing. It's kind of what you were leading to there. Right. Like you're, yeah, you're going to lead into a slower market. So you might change what your strategy is, but the strategy of building strong, long lasting relationships that you can feed on when the market turns on you. So you have those people that are still, they know the people that are going to sell their house. You need to be in play there. They need to be, you need to be the one they're referring. Correct. I, I, I agree. I would like to, it, we're, we're at the 30 minute mark and I'm wondering if we can have maybe five to eight more of your minutes of your time for bonus content. Sure. sure. Is that possible? Yep. Okay. So uh, we're going to, we're going to cut down right here and let people join us on the, um, uh, the YouTube channel. So for anybody that's uh, currently listening to us, you can see the last five to 10 minutes of the show on the mail-right.com YouTube channel. In the meantime, uh, Darren, uh, if you'd like to do somebody somebody to look up something about the organization that you're leading or connect into your mission in some way, where would you like them to go? It's easy, bombbomb.com. And uh, you can find, and there's a drop down or our story. I think it's kind of what you were alluding to there. That's there. And then I'm, I'm easy to find on LinkedIn. That's where I do most of my connection. Connecting is on LinkedIn. Cool. And John, if you wanted somebody to look you up and connect with you, how would they go about doing that? Oh, it's really easy, Rob. Just go to mail-right.com and just book a chat with me. There's a button that says um, book a chat and you can have a free chat with me and I'll be more than happy to see if we could help you out. Over to you, Rob. Beautiful. As we close the show down here, and I also tell you to go to inboundram.com if you want to learn more about me, Robert Newman, I'm going to say this. The question that I want to ask Darren is, what does the future hold for BombBomb? Bomb? What's, what's in the plans that he, can, that he is willing to reveal on a podcast? So stay tuned for that question. I'm personally really excited because uh, I just... I don't know if it's shown through or not, but I love BombBomb. Bomb. I love it as a tool, a concept. I love what you're doing as a company. So let me just be really clear about that. I love BombBomb. Bomb. If anybody's using, like looking for another layer into their strategy to try to add value to an existing like newsletter mail mailing list, I, I would strongly recommend that you take a look at BombBomb. Bomb. Thank so, you. Appreciate that. Yeah. Having said all that, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Three, two, one. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're now in the video part of the show. Thank you so much for sticking with us. Today, we've got Darren Dawson, who is talking about Bomb Bomb. We've had a whole podcast. Go check it out. It's number episode three, 350. Uh, my question for you, my, my burning ask, if you're willing to have the discussion, which we didn't really cover with you in our forum, and I apologize for that, uh, is what are the future plans for Bomb Bomb? Yeah, two topics. Um, security is, is one. So I believe in the not too long future that I want to be a platform that when you get a bomb bomb, you know for sure it was from this human being, this mm -hmm. identity validation concept. Because, you know, back in, I was talking about digital pollution on the podcast, that right. now when you get an inbound email, it's not even from a person. And so it's, it's written like it is. It's kind of like this deep fake thing. And some even videos are fake. Yeah. What I want is 
secure validation that if you're getting this from our service that you know, without a doubt, this came from a human being, that they originated it for you and that the message is just for you. And uh, I think we need to get into that. I think that's an interesting space for us. So we're, we're developing in that space. We're creating more security around our features, um, validation, like making sure that you won't be able to deep fake in our service, meaning it's President Obama saying some things that he never said, for instance, right? Like right, we don't right. want that ability to happen in our service. So that you get a bomb bomb, you know, it's from me for you. And that's a big deal to us. And so we'll have like self, we do have some of this tech now, but self-destructing videos, things of that nature. Uh, the other thing that we're working on is, has to do with personalization at scale. So how can we help our customers um, with some automations, evergreen videos and things like that, that they can record once and then smartly deploy into their campaign. So for instance, a lot of people might have a retention campaign that they run um, on their customer base, right? So you have worked with right. in the past. And so we can have different points of touch base that are evergreen, but feel very personal. So we're working towards um, working with other software companies to layer in our technology. And we have a patent that we created Oh God, back in 2012, we called it real-time video email and, and, and that. And I think the patents are worded that way. But basically, this idea that I can have a video in any instance where you find it, but I can change that video out. So imagine a happy birthday is probably the easiest way to think about this. Right. If you have a drip campaign that you want to make sure it's a smart campaign that goes out every time on this person's birthday, but gosh... Um, I got to update that at least once a year, right? Because it can't be the same video message next year in the same shirt. They're going to be on to me. So we figured out a way to help you build that out. So um, you have these triggered events that happen and you can change those videos out, but they're always in real time. So it's 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 kind of complex. We're, we're writing other software. So let's say um, another one in the mortgage industry is that if I got an alert, let's say that Robert... Now, let's say Jonathan is Robert's mortgage person. When Jonathan, <laughs> okay, and, and Robert, Robert though, calls me because he's, he's like, I like Jonathan, but I'm going to go f see what Darren has to offer me in a mortgage. You, you will get a mortgage for me, Darren. That's for sure. That's like <laughs> well, here's chance. the deal. Jonathan, you would get an alert. You get an alert. It says, uh-oh, Robert is going with Darren. Someone else. He just pulled credit. Oh, you wouldn't and, need Bob Bob for that. I'm sorry, Darren. <laughs> and then we'd automate a video over to Robert and say, hey, it's Jonathan. Just want to check in. Gosh, is there anything I can do? I noticed you pulled credit over here. So we have these automated trigger pieces with these real-time video kind of interactions that even if Jonathan's working on another deal, that's happening to save Robert as a client. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. So this is like deep track product stuff that I'm going through kind of, but we want, like, again, my whole thing is to help you build better relationships, get more repeat and referral business and keep the customers you got, get new yeah. ones, get the ones you got. That's bomb bombs job for you. Darren, um, one of the things I love about bomb bomb and we, me and Robert have discussed this on other shows, looking at other technologies in the real estate industry specifically other crms marketing platforms there is a tendency to throw the kitchen sink to become a total swiss army knife product right. what i like about bomb bomb is that you have resisted that temptation yeah. to do everything to be a crm do this do the other has that been a difficult journey was that a did you learn that through the process or, or is that something from day one that you and your founders decided that you weren't going to become a Swiss army knife type? <laughs> yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> Everyone's wanted us to along the way. One, I can't do more than one thing. Good God. Like how can you be good at all that? I want to be good at this. I want to own it. I want to crush it. But also we were never, we never had venture capital. So I never had anybody making me do it. And right. So, and we just want to be laser focused on solving the problem of our customer around again, these like building relationships, repeat and referral business. Like, and, and we, and we thought, well, the CRM space, you know, like we, we want to just play ball with all of those folks. 
So we are unique and agnostic and, and we're Sweden in a way. And um, there's many, you know, when we began, we were like the first video company period. Now there's, there's many, there's many competitors to us now, but I think we've stood the test of time because of those relationships. Cause we never tried to compete with anybody. We were always us. We always try to do what we say we're going to do. And we always delivered for the customer. So our CSAT, our customer satisfaction, very high. Like, and my employee satisfaction is very high. We just want to be, uh, I want you to think I'm an advocate for you winning in your business. Number one. And so if they it, look, if that competitor of mine can do that better, good. You should you sh I have not earned the right now to have your business anymore and you should take it elsewhere. But yeah, I'm not the cheapest either. So but I but again, it's because I want to deliver more. So I guess I never thought we never wanted to be a CRM or like a chat tool or lots <laughs> of things that people have wanted us to do. I'm a big Peter Drucker fan. I know Peter Drucker famous business author focus is the key to all economic success not some not a little focus is the key to all economic success so i think people get into trouble and it's shiny penny oh, you're gonna go be this too and support that well and deliver that product well i just don't think it's smart i mean through acquisition i'm not disparaging other businesses who've done they've done roll-ups or things like that that makes sense it's a different model I'm going to be the best video product on the planet is, is what I got to do. Yeah. I think it, personally myself, I think it's a balance. I think, I think some of your plan, future plans you've outlined, they are closely linked to the core products. It's yeah. when, when you kind of, you become a magpie, you take this, you take that and you just bung it all in. Um, and it just gets more and more complex and just plastering a unified interface, a UX interface on top doesn't mean all the separate parts are really unified. They're still, right. you still get fragmentation. Do you think I'm, I'm correct in that? Oh, for sure. Yeah, especially if you're, again, I just don't think... And, and I've seen some folks that do do it better than others, right? I mean, it's tough. I think, especially if we have, we're fortunate as well. I, I mean, how about this? That we're playing in these other vertical markets. We're a vertical company. We focus on verticals, but we're not just a real estate product. You know, we have a lot of different types of customers. And, and frankly, if you're staying in real estate, I think you have more of that pressure to be a one place for everybody product because of that. I mean, if, I, if we weren't in mortgage and in title and insurance and financial services and attorneys and all these different, I think that maybe we would have had more pressure to develop that way. But for us, we just have such a big uh, addressable market to pursue that there was not a reason for us to deviate from this core identity. And I love it. Uh, I mean, everything that you said, the way that I, you 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 verbalize your product one way, but I've always thought of it as as another way. I always think that that any way that we connect, especially through video, is an is an opportunity for us to tell a story. And you're talking to you're talking to the human factor, being a one human to another. And I I do agree with that. I also agree that you need a method to tell a compelling story, whatever that is. And you need to figure out what your personal story is. You have Darren Dawson has figured out his story. You've got your mission. You've got your human mission, you've got your professional mission, you've got your product, and you know the results show. What I love for everybody who's listening to the show is to bomb bomb to be a piece of telling a story that you figured out. Using bomb bomb to to spread the message that Darren just gave us would be a great way to leverage bomb bomb. You figure out who you are as a real estate agent or a professional marketer, and then you figure out a way to you know capture that in the allotted time span and send it out to all of your customers. I love the idea of talking about like, are you passionate about animals? Are there seasons that you take your animals out or get more active with your animals, take them on hikes, go to lakes, things like that. That might be a fun time to do a dog friendly lifestyle video sent out through, through bomb bomb that you can just connect to what you're already doing, connect it into the, your mission and your brand, and then send the message out through bomb bomb. That's, that's like my inbound storyteller uh, advice for everybody listening to the show. Um, 
we have definitely taken up as much of your time as we said that we would. So, Darren, I really, really, really appreciate you. I don't know. I, John does all the, the, the uh, executive uh, production work on the show, so I don't know how we got you know, how you kept connected with us, but I'm really super grateful that you yeah. took your time and that you came on the show today. I think it's been a great interview, Rob, and thanks, Darren. I really enjoyed it, and I think we've covered some good stuff. And hopefully Appreciate you both. It was fun. Those are good questions. Those are, yeah, different. I do this a lot, so there's, there's de definitely different yeah. questions. I tell you, that's high prize, actually. <laughs> that's really high prize. <laughs> I, I've seen at least 10 of your podcasts. <laughs> I, think, I think I may be getting wrong on the number, but I know I've seen it's been more than a handful. Yeah, I think you changed the it was again. You, I, I definitely got I did one yesterday. It was in the UK, actually. A gentleman from uh, Bath outside of mm -hmm. London. We did a podcast yesterday and it was they're all interesting. And this was yeah, you guys I love. I always love when someone does pick up on the gen, the uh, original story of why we do what we do. So that was really good. Awesome. Well, I think we can end it now, aren't yeah. we, Rob? Thanks, guys. Yep. Right, yep. 40, 45 minutes on the dot.